Hello and welcome to Health Matters on Channels Television. I'm Yomi Otaibe. On the program today, it's all about regenerative medicine. Particularly, we'll be looking into adult stem cell therapy and platelet-rich plasma therapy. Okay, you're thinking already, what's this about? Not to worry, I have with me in the studio a regenerative medicine specialist at Glory Wellness and Regenerative Center in Lagos, Dr. David Ikudaisi. Good to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, I'm sure when I mentioned plasma, adult stem cell, people are wondering, okay, so what's this about? Let's start first. What is regenerative medicine? Yes, uh, regenerative medicine is a branch of translational research and molecular biology. Uh, that deals with the process of replacing or regenerating the human cells. And the, uh, the, this is being done by stimulating the body's own natural healing mechanism to make it possible to heal and repair things that we always think are irreparable. Mm, so it's about using what the body has to heal the body itself. That is correct, because that is how God you know, created us. Okay. You know, for example, quickly, if somebody mistakenly cut their, you know, their skin in the kitchen while making food or something, within three days or so, the skin will start closing up and healing. Now, regenerative medicine has a way to use the same thing that God has given us to heal, but in a faster, accelerated way. Okay, now let's start with um, adult stem cell therapy. What's that about? Well, adult stem cell uh, therapy is one of the three um, types of stem cell therapy. Um, the word adult is not about age. It's because um, the three types of um, adult stem cell therapy includes using the bone marrow from the same patient, using the uh, fat from the patient's stomach area, or using the umbilical cord stem cells from a newly born baby um, cord and then um, uh, cord blood. That is why I said adult is not about age, but it is about matured human being. Okay. Because okay. there are also other two types of stem cell. Which are? The embryonic stem cells. Mm, which that's, is That's controversial. Yes. <laughs> that's the one everybody think about when they hear the word stem cell. The embryonic uh, stem cell is when um, stem cells are being harvested um, from things like, um, a, let me say, a fertilized egg at the age of uh, day 5 to um, 14. And um, you can get this from IVF clinics. That's where um, the researchers get the donation from. People think these are potential human beings. So why mess with well, it? They are. <laughs> yes, it is true. They, they are. Yeah. So that is why it has the religious, um, you know, uh, controversial issue. It is unethical, and um, most countries, including uh, U.S., does not allow it, you know, in the mainstream. Mm -hmm. And the third um, uh, group of um, stem cell is IPCS. Mm -hmm. The IPCS is um, induced pluripotent stem cells. That's when you take any um, adult somatic cells to the lab, reprogram it to now behave like the embryonic. You didn't get it from IV clinic, but you are making it to behave like the like. embryonic. Okay. So those two, they have the disadvantage that um, they can keep growing unlimited, which can lead to cancer. So, so far we've not been able to tame the limit of their growth. We are at adult stem cell therapy has the disadvantage of limited growth. But that disadvantage is what becomes a plus that allows us to use it in the clinic. Okay, you've mentioned we have a picture showing on, on, on the screen right now. I think some parts of the body where the cells can be taken from. You mentioned the stomach. Yeah. Which other areas? Okay, like what people are seeing on the screen right now, uh, the somatic uh, stem cells in the body, it shows that we have, um, you can have st uh, stem cells from the heart, from the blood, from the, even the tooth, um, the, um, and the skin, the bone marrow, the fat, like I mentioned earlier. 
but for adult stem cell therapy, the one that is currently being done or allowed in U.S., it's a process whereby you uh, harvest the stem cell, you know, on the same day and give it back to the patient the same day. Like, let's say patient comes in the morning, you do liposuction to get the fat, mm -hmm. or you do bone marrow aspiration to get the bone marrow, then you turn around and you process it, get your stem cell from those sources, and deliver it to where you need it in that patient okay, that so same day. That same day? Yes. Okay. Now tell us, who are those who perhaps would need um, this adult stem cells therapy? Okay. Um, the list is very, very uh, broad. But the simple way to understand it would be if there is degeneration in any part of the body, if there is need for repair, adult stem cell therapy may help that patient. The exceptions are HIV patients and cancer patients. Why? That being said, for the, we cannot use it to cure cancer mm -hmm. the way it has been done, adult stem cell therapy. Mm -hmm. You take it and you deliver it back to the patient. Although those patients improved, um, the studies show that the cancers get shrunk but you can, you know, the patient will eventually die, but you are prolonging their life, making their life better. So we don't really want to push it as a recommendation. The way adult, uh, sorry, the way stem cell is playing a role in cancer is still in research stage, whereby um, the patient's uh, cells are being taken to the lab. That's what they're talking about, the somatic cells that people saw on the screen. Um, and then the IP, SC, induced pluripotent uh, stem cells are being made and those uh, somatic cells are being targeted to, to a particular maybe cancer and given back to the patient to attack that cancer. That's the research um, stage. Uh, stage. But that's not being done the same day. So that the other stem cell therapy is the same day treatment. Mm -hmm. and you can't achieve that treating cancer that way. Mm -hmm. But you can use it to tone down the you know, inflammation, the, you can do you know, modulation with the patient so they do better. Mm. Okay, um, the plasma, uh, platelet-rich plasma, yes. tell us about that. And that one is kind of simpler, uh, it's simpler than other stem cell therapy, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, patient just go to the doctor's office, have their blood drawn as if they're going to do a blood mm -hmm. test. Like, like we have it on the screen right now? There you go. Okay. And then the blood is now being put into a certain uh, machine at certain uh, program uh, gravitational force and time and it's been processed to separate that blood into plasma mm -hmm. which is the yellow part on top on the left side on the screen and the red part is the uh, uh, red blood cells which is not needed and that top part that is yellow which is the plasma a section of it is very rich in platelets that is where the name platelet rich plasma, plasma comes from okay. and the platelets is what goes into action they contain granules alpha granules uh, growth factors cytokines that when you activate it they go into action and start stimulating the repair and regeneration of that tissue or organ where you inject it okay so um, for this uh, I can see this uh, we take the blood yes. and then I, I guess that represents the number two represents like the machine that yes. will spin it around to separate the red blood cells from uh, the platelet mm. and then the person gets to use it wherever it's needed that's, so tell us um, I know you have a story <laughs> <laughs> about yourself uh, maybe we should start from you um, you had some kind of therapy too tell us about that yes I use the platelet rich plasma therapy or PRP um, to do hair loss restoration for myself. Okay, there we have you. 